Director Alex Proyas burst onto the scene with The Crow and became one of Hollywood's most sought-after directors. He followed that up with the acclaimed mood piece Dark City and with the big-budget iRobot adaptation with Will Smith. Once thought to be the next visionary filmmaker, Proyas has maintained a somewhat low profile in the business. His knowing was a modest success, but it's been seven years since that film, which is an eternity in the movie business. His latest is Gods of Egypt, a rather odd movie on a variety of levels. The film tells the story of an era where gods and men live together in Egypt and when Game of Thrones star Nicolaj Kosterwaldau's Horus is to be crowned king. His troublesome Uncle Set, played by 300 and Olympus's fallen star Gerard Butler, crashes the party and steals the throne from him. Set aims to enslave the land and procure the vital organs of the gods for his own purposes, which frankly is rude. The task falls upon a mere mortal to take the fight to the gods and reinvigorate the shunned Horus in order to restore peace. What follows is a non-stop assault of special effects and traps and monsters of all shapes and sizes. If the trailers weren't proof enough, Gods of Egypt seems like a movie out of time. The style, quality of special effects, and overall tone of the movie seems geared towards an audience having just come off Stephen Summers' The Mummy, hungry for more. We are in serious trouble. Gods of Egypt isn't for discerning eyes, but there's an oddly charming vibe to how unpretentious the whole affair is. Proyas isn't making one of his typical dark fantasies, but rather attempting to evoke the pulp of yesteryear, whether it be Raiders of the Lost Ark or one of the great Ray Harryhausen Sinbad movies. Sadly, the movie throws the kitchen sink at its audience, and for every interesting idea, there are several that just don't hit. It's a hard movie to process. It's a head-scratcher, in fact.